Good morning, folks. Many of you know how much worse climate change could be for Australia because of near fully inclusive climatology and strong biodiversity. But if you don't, start here. Officials made the call to drain Lake Okeechobee. Not the first time they've used the technique to avoid overflow, but there are pollution concerns and mass fish deaths associated with the past occurrences. Speaking of which, right back to Australia where they are cleaning up a mass fish kill in the Brisbane River. Interesting article here about a change coming to quantum physics regarding the environmental characteristics at which quantum science becomes observable on a macro scale. It's known as achieving the Bose-Einstein condensate, and it's apparently pictured here. There's still no visible debris from the alleged asteroid that hit Jupiter. The experts are on a bit of a snipe hunt here. Excellent news on the Canary Islands. Things are quieting down. Only three tremors yesterday following days of hundreds of shakes. Had a couple of strange and sparsely reported quakes as well, first in the Arctic Ocean. Plugging in the coordinates puts us here, yikes, and slightly less concerning but still underreported a sizable tremor in the North Pacific. Back to Australia once again, the only buoy in event mode on Earth is off the coast here but the deviation is about as small as you can get and still register it. And while I'm down here again, time for you mates to break some heat records of your own. The Earth-facing side of the Sun has not popped a big flare in days, although facing away from Earth here on Stereo B we see a massive eruption on the left coming from last night directly away from Earth. But not much on our side as we watch these active regions turn in. NOAA has labeled this beta, it's beta gamma magnetic class, and down south is worth watching as well but does not look as menacing. Looking on the left, you remember that while it looks like the Earth-Sun connection is right here next to these spots, it looks grainy, which indicates a backside footprint. You see on the right, six out of the ten magnetic connections have joined the front side, but that strong grouping still over the western limb is holding our footprint on the back. With the flares taking a back seat, Corona Hole Stream is set to shine. You see the front leading density spike, which was actually more of a plateau here. Corona Hole Streams bunch up solar wind in front of faster particles. It nearly caused a geomagnetic storm towards the end of yesterday. As you see here on Ovation Prime, the density came back down around 2 or 3 o'clock UTC, at which point the yellow underneath the speed ramps up big time. The Corona Hole Geo Effectiveness is just beginning, and in addition to the bright active regions swinging in from the left, that giant horizontal plasma filament on the solar equator is pointed right at Earth. Stay in your seat, big dog. Today begins three days of interesting planetary positions, followed by a week off and a big week to transition months. I'll leave you with the latest haboob to smack Arizona. It's 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.